the cool thing about the exercise is it pushes you to your limit every single time, right? Because what we're doing with these exercises is overwhelming the mitochondria. And we like to say mito go slow. Welcome to Zero Limits Living. I'm Dr. Joe Vitale. Every week I bring you information and inspiration to transform your life. This show is now so popular, you can see it or hear it on 1,000 platforms across the galaxy. That includes Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and probably anything you can name or anything you're using right now. I'm making it easy for you because I'm putting all of the episodes in one place. Zero Limits Living tv.com zero limits living tv.com also be sure to check out miracles coaching people are talking about coaching it's trendy it's a buzzword but it's been around a long time my own coaching program was started 20 years ago it's trademarked it's a system that works but don't take my word for it go and check it out go to miraclescoaching.com get a free consultation make up your own mind also my latest program mentaltimetravelsystem.com is really doing fantastic. I went back in time, cleaned it up, and now here in present time, it's even better than what it was before. If you're confused or you're curious, go to mentaltimetravelsystem.com. My latest book, Unexpected Kindness, already a bestseller. Go to Unexpected Kindness Book or just go to Amazon. And what I'm doing here is Unexpected Kindness, or maybe by now it's expected, because I'm doing this show for you. And my guests are coming on doing this show for you. And speaking of guests, today I have a super treat for you. And it's a super treat for me. Also, I have two guests, which is the first time I've done this. So I'll be playing ping pong with these two people in my cell. And we're going to be talking about health and fitness. So let me ask you a question. How much time does it take each day for you to actually lose weight build muscle, and get fit? Would you say one minute, two minutes, three, four, five? What if I told you you can do it in about five minutes or less by doing it in one minute bouts of movement? That's what we're going to talk about. This is for real. This is not an April Fool's joke. Let me tell you about my two guests here. Dr. Dennis Wilson is a metabolism and thyroid expert with over 30 years of experience. He discovered three different medical innovations, Wilson's temperature syndrome, time-release T3 medication, and something called faster size. He wrote the book, The Power of Faster Size, which I have right here in my hand. It's using the new science of signaling exercise to get surprisingly fit in just a few minutes a day, like five minutes. And now he um, graduated from the University of South Florida with MD and loves living by the beach. Allison Roberts is an entrepreneur and the CEO of Faster Size, a tech company that helps people get fit in just five minutes a day. I told you, five minutes. Allison served as the vice president of the Marriott School of Business and worked at three Fortune 500 companies before starting Faster Size. She was a national elite athlete, a bodybuilder, and now a mom to two young boys. And they're both here. Welcome, doctor. Welcome, Allison. Thank you. Happy to be here. <laughs> Yeah. How are you both doing so today? It's a real honor. I'm Thank doing you. great. Thank you. Did you both do your five minutes of exercise today? <laughs> I have. Yeah. It's still young over here, but yeah, I've done quite a bit already. <laughs> so you're in two different places in the country? Or, or Allison, are you living in Italy or something? Where do you live? I wish. I'm in Utah. You're in Utah. And, and I, doctor, Dr. Dennis, where are you at? I'm, in, I'm in Florida. Ah, that's right. You love being you love being by the beach. Well, yeah. you know, we got to start in the beginning here. You discovered something that is now called faster size. And we live in this world where there is so much there's not a strong enough word to describe the confusion 
the glut of information that is competing with each other and contradicting each other when it comes to health and fitness. I don't care who you are, you come across some wild diet, you come across some sort of exercise, and you can find people on both camps that are going to argue to the death that their, their way is correct. Most of them come from the no pain, no gain kind of an experience. Most of them have the old feeling of calories in, exercise to burn them off. And I'm hearing from the book and from the videos I see from you, Allison, that there's a whole new way of doing this, a whole new way. With the, I'm smiling because this is the best news of all. It only takes five minutes broken up throughout the day. So to begin, what in the world is faster size? <laughs> so yeah, faster size, it's this fitness program that involves these quick bursts of exercise. And these quick bursts of exercise are a huge energy consumption that just burns calories. You can, you can burn up to 100 calories in a single minute of these shivering exercises. So it's a crazy, super fast energy burn. And then in addition to that, it's an appetite controller. It helps you to manage your appetite because when you do these exercises, you actually satisfy your hunger for up to two hours with all the stored fat and calories that you've burned. So it helps you to exercise and, and get that kind of you know, fitness and strength that you need, but it also helps you to manage your appetite. And this is one of the reasons why losing weight is so easy on the program. Yeah, but this sounds unbelievable. <laughs> it sounds unbelievable. Uh, Dr. Wilson, how did you discover this? Well, I, for years and years, I've, the last 30 years, I've noticed that a lot of people are able to lose weight when you normalize their body temperature. A lot of people are walking out there, walking around out there with low body temperatures. And when I was able to normalize their temperature with a certain thyroid protocol I developed, I noticed that people were able to really lose a lot of weight. And um, the, the most I had a patient lose was over 100 pounds. I had one lady lose 30 pounds in a month when she didn't change her appetite and didn't change her diet. And um, but yet the, these the, the, the difficulty with the easy weight gain often comes on with a bunch of other symptoms like fluid retention, fatigue, depression, dry skin, dry hair, itchiness, panic attacks. Um, and those are all symptoms of low body temperature. And mm. so I uh, and they, they tend to come on together after a period of stress. And so I noticed that in some of these patients, um, their, their, their symptoms would come on when their weight came on, but sometimes their temperature would go up and their symptoms would go away, but they still had trouble with their weight. And so the, the weight and symptoms came together, but they didn't go away together. So there was this problem. It's just like, what is going on here? Why are these two people still having trouble with their weight? And so I went back to the drawing board, went back to the research and studied studied um, the research in the last 10 years that wasn't available 30 years ago, research on, on fasting, intermittent fasting, um, high intensity exercise and ver various things, and even basic biology, even mitochondria, Krebs cycle and so on. And, and little by little, I was able to piece together a different perspective about how the body works and why it works the way it does. And so, um, and, and it just all these, all these different um, pieces of information pointed to this one simple solution. This is unbelievable. I know I've already said that, but it's like you discovered something that nobody throughout history had discovered. I mean, when people were shivering because they were cold, they didn't realize that they were increasing metabolism, for example, or didn't notice that they pushed off their hunger. Uh, I'm not dismissing what you're saying. I'm just kind of digging in with a curious skepticism to find out how this actually works. I know that this has been around enough because your book came out a while back, The Power of uh, Faster Size. And Allison, I've seen enough of your Instagram videos, and I love your videos, by the way. You're just a light. You're just full of energy and a big smile on your face and light in your eyes. And so it's contagious to watch you and feel that enthusiasm. And I know that you both have talked about people who have lost weight. Wasn't there somebody recently in another country who lost like 20 pounds in two weeks? Do, am I remembering that wrong? Allison, do you recall? 
Um, actually, I think I think it was about twenty pounds in one month. Yeah, that was insane. Mm-hmm. But either way, that's that's staggering by itself because the rule of thumb, as I understand it, has been don't lose more than one or two pounds a week, which is like four pounds a month. And if you lose more than that, you're really losing water. You're, you're just losing water and maybe even muscle, some things that you need. What's actually going on if somebody's losing 20 pounds or, Doc, when you're talking about that woman who lost 30-some pounds in a month, did they actually lose – fat did they, was that a healthy weight loss yeah this this solution this approach you know you're right you know it's just like why haven't we seen this why haven't we looked at this and and basically it was hiding in plain sight i like to call we like to call this approach instinctive it's instinctive exercise it's intuitive eating and it's basically it's just like oh that's why we tighten our muscles really hard every morning when we wake up Oh, that's why we shiver when we're cold. Oh, that's why we shiver when, like, when you're freezing and you've got a medical emergency, basically, because you're too, too cold, what does your body do automatically? It mm. it shivers. And it does it because it burns up so much calories so so fast. Mm -hmm. And when you're when you're burning up those kind of calories, you you start moving away because mm. it's like this. It's like your body's saying, hey, Joe, give me one good reason why I should mobilize fat. Give me one good reason I should mobilize fat and, and carbon, you know, glycogen so that you can. And then you could say the answer is because my life depends on it, because I need it for survival, because I'm freezing to death or because a, chi a tiger is chasing me or mm. because I've got to get up this coconut tree. And so. So that's the that really is because your body has two two approaches to survival. It's either conservation mode or productivity mode. In other words, you there is an advantage to storing energy, but there's also an advantage to using energy, like so you don't freeze to death. Mm -hmm. So th the tiger doesn't catch you. And and that's what that's what this shivering does, is it simulates that. And so when you do that shivering exercise, you get the four hormones that counteract insulin. So insulin is a storage hormone, and these four other hormones are extraction hormones. So mm -hmm. you're mobilizing. You're doing exactly what you want to do. What do you want to do? You want to mobilize your stored fat. You want to mobilize your glycogen. How do you do that? You do that with those four hormones, and you can do it in a minute. It's like getting an injection of those four weight loss hormones or fat burning hormones, you get an injection of those four hormones, like right now, like pronto, like in 60 seconds. Yeah, apparently under one minute. And there, there seems to be two different kinds of ways of doing this in a general way. One is you're calling it tighter size and the other is shiver size. Do I have both of those right? Yep. Right. So Allison, you want to tell us what the, both of those are? Yeah, absolutely. So the what we call shiver size it's it's shivering but turned into an exercise so i want to clarify you don't have to worry about being cold this is not a cold plunge we're not saying you got to go step out in the snow um, this is an exercise that mimics shivering and so you do tiny movements as fast as you can while flexing all of your muscles and that is the kind of exercise that you can do to really push off your appetite and burn a lot of calories. And then the second one is, as you mentioned, tighter size. So this is basically a flexing exercise. And we like to compare it to stretching in the morning. So you think about like when you wake up and you'll do like a really hard stretch and it feels so nice, but you're, you're not actually stretching. You know, if you're thinking about stretching for yoga, you're trying to elongate the muscles, right? When you're stretching in the morning, what you're actually doing is tightening all of your muscles really hard for a period of about three to five seconds. And so tighter size, this tightening exercise, we flex each muscle group for about three to five seconds and then release. And this is basically a very quick, fast burnout exercise. Mm -hmm. So you're doing maximum intensity for a very short period of time. So you're not risking injury, but you are hitting your max. Um, and then I'm not sure you've probably seen my before and after picture with the bodybuilding competition, right? I have. Yes. Yes. Tell us about that. 
Yeah. So I did 10 minutes of faster size a day to prepare for my bodybuilding competition. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've been in bodybuilding contests, you know, lifetimes ago. And I, I just want to be clear that the only thing you did for this contest was, as you just said, 10 minutes of faster size a day. Is that correct? Yep. Outside of like everyday living. <laughs> outside of everyday living. Well, with two kids. Did you have the kids at the time? I, I had one 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 kid at the time. He was a newborn. All right. So you're a you're a new mom. You uh you had gained weight during that pregnancy, as I remember. And you're yeah. going into a bodybuilding contest. I know Lou Ferrigno. I know bodybuilders. I had my own gym at one point. I know what the discipline and the commitment and the insanity is like to do a true bodybuilding contest in a natural way. For you to say you did this in 10 minutes a day explain more <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i want to clarify i didn't win yeah, <laughs> right i, I entered it, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. um but yeah so i i had my baby and like i think two weeks before delivery dad told me about this new program he's developing and so i thought to myself great i've got a postpartum recovery plan this will be awesome so after delivery i had gained about 35 pounds um, and you know, I just couldn't really help it. I'm one of those people that gains a lot of weight when they get pregnant. And so, um, it was really hard, like seeing myself in the mirror and not recognizing myself. Cause I did mention like I was a national elite athlete in track and cross country in high school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am so used to pushing myself. I used to work out four hours a day, run 50 miles a week. Like I was so gung ho about my fitness. Um, but then I went to college, I got a job, I had my kid and that kind of all just disappeared. I was like, I don't, I, I don't have the time for this and I'm not going to dedicate the time because it's stressing me out. So doing faster size, I would do a couple minutes at a time during the day. So I go to an empty conference room or my desk and I'd exercise and the weight started to fly off. I mean, it was insane. And um, so after, after a few months, I, I was like, uh, I wonder what I could do to prove that this program works as well as any other program. And so I got this harebrained idea. I was like, I could enter a bodybuilding competition. <laughs> so, um, so I did. I, I, I signed up six weeks before the actual show to, to be in the show. I signed up. I got someone to teach me how to pose and I just kept doing faster size up until the day of. And I think I got down to like 11% body fat. Wow. And I think I placed sixth out of 10 women wow. in my division. So, wow. I mean, I was happy. <laughs> I was like, that's plenty for me. <laughs> that is fantastic. That is fantastic. That is so impressive. So did you do anything about the meals? Did you go on, you know, some of the bodybuilders eat nothing but tuna fish for six months and protein powders. Did you adjust that? Were you kind of a balanced eater? What did you do different with the food? Yeah. So mostly I avoided like refined starches and sugars. So mm -hmm. I didn't eat a lot of like breads and pastas. Um, I will say I did not count calories. Okay. So I didn't do any calorie counting. I did intuitive eating and I tried to limit my carbs, but I would do carb cycling. So like five days out of the week, I would do 50 grams of carbs a day or less. Mm -hmm. And then the other two days of the week, I would have, you know, some potatoes, some rice, um, and like lots of vegetables and, and meats throughout the, throughout the week. I love it. I love it. And, and doctor, what did you think when you heard that she did this? Well, well, it was, it was amazing. The, the results she got were incredible. Um, I got, I got similar results myself and, um the way the way you can think of it is you you know like when you when you do a like you build up and then you do a cut you know you mm -hmm. build your muscle and then you cut you, mm -hmm. you you cut your calories and you try to burn off the fat and um so that you can get leaner but this is kind of interesting because the the approach the approach with this is that um faster size actually protects you from fasting it protects you from the count, the, the bad, the bad aspects that come with the cut. Like for example, you know, when you start reducing your cal caloric intake substantially, mm -hmm. and you know, and, and you're basically, you know, you're dieting so that so that you're burning fat and you're taking in less food than than the fat you're burning. 
your your temperature drops. Your temperature mm-hmm. starts to drop, or in other words, your metabolism starts to slow down. Mm-hmm. And in the meantime, a lot of times you you burn in a lot of muscle because your your caloric your deficit is causing your brain to um, mobilize protein or muscle or meat so that you can have the glucose that you need for your brain function. Mm-hmm. So anyway, it's a real problem, as you know. Like everybody. So it's like, wow, I gained this muscle, but as soon as I start burning off fat, I lose my muscle. And right. so it's, right. a, it's, a, it's a bummer. So, but this is different because, because when, you're, when you do faster size, when you, you push off your hunger. So in other words, hunger, in my opinion, is a sign that you're burning muscle. It's a warning. It's just like, hey, if you're hungry, you should pay attention. You don't want to be hungry if you're trying to get lean and you're trying to get ripped and you're trying to get built. You don't want to go around hungry because that's a sign that you're burning muscle. Your body's trying to tell you that. And so to avoid that, so what what do we do? When you start to get hungry, you do the faster size. And instead of your temperature dropping, your temperature goes up. Instead of your metabolism slowing down, your metabolism speeds up. Instead of reducing the amount of calories you're burning, you're increasing the amount of calories you're burning. And mm-hmm. so you're you're really digging into your fat reserves. You're really digging mm-hmm. into your glycogen reserves. So it's 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 crazy, but yeah, that's how that's how you lose a lot of fat, like in in just a minute or five minutes a day, because Instead of fighting yourself, you're working with your body instead of against your body. And instead of so, so you're just you're just um, instead of, you know, your your caloric burn going down, you just keep pushing into your fat reserves and you just and you're you're maintaining your temperature. You're maintaining your cognitive function. Mm-hmm. Your brain, your brain loves lactate. This generates lactate. And uh, anyway, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, just one more thing on that. I know you had talked about like, how could someone possibly lose like 20 pounds in a single month? I mean, that is insane. I would expect that probably not all of that is fat. Like some of that would be water weight. Mm -hmm. A lot of that would probably be fat and maybe some muscle mass. But one thing that I like to think about is, you know, think about someone's basic metabolic rate, you know, at rest, a lot of people will burn like 1800 calories at rest maybe 2000 calories at rest, right? So that's how much you're burning every day. Then you think about a pound of fat is like, I think it's 36, like it's like 3000 calories for a pound of fat. So if you do some simple math, when you do these exercises and you push off the need to eat, maybe you go from eating three meals a day to two meals a day, or maybe even just down to one meal a day. Say that one or two meals a day is only, you only need to eat like a thousand calories to feel satisfied. All of a sudden you have a thousand calorie deficit that can start Mm. eating away at these blocks of fat, right? And Mm so you got, if you, if you had a calorie deficit, again, this is just big numbers, but if you had a calorie deficit of a thousand calories a day for a period of one week, that's 7,000 calories that you're burning, which would equate to like, you know. 2.3 2.3 pounds lost, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then you multiply that, like it it very quickly becomes a lot easier to imagine losing all of that weight because mm-hmm. you don't have to eat as much. And that's kind of the beauty and the balance between like the exercise and then using the exercise to control your appetite. And like, I'll just say, we are not for starving yourself. Like that is a hundred percent not the point. I hate being hungry. <laughs> it's a horrible place to be. Right. It's it's using this exercise to satisfy your appetite. And there would be days when I was like in heavy weight loss mode where I would do like three exercises, one at 10 a.m., one at 1 p.m., and one at 3 p.m. And I wouldn't even want to eat until five o'clock because I was just burning so much stored body fat. And like, I, I'm ranting, but this is the last thing I'll say. <laughs> it's crazy how when you do one minute of exercise, you will feel like a flush of heat. It's just like, mm-hmm. like it, it takes mm-hmm. over your whole body. And I imagine it's like a hot flash. I've never actually experienced one myself, but it is very hot and it just comes on very suddenly. And those are the times when my hunger would go away the longest. And so it's like, you can actually feel the body mobilizing the fat. It's insane. 
So anyway. But, uh, no, it's beautiful. Thanks for clarifying that. Both of you are helping me understand different things because one is during all those times when I was so strict with myself with the wellness contest, bodybuilding contest, the rule of thumb that I heard back then was if I was hungry, that was good news because I was burning fat. What I just heard from the good doctor there was when I was feeling hungry, I was most likely burning muscle. Do I have that correct? That's that's my belief, yeah. Because yeah, good. if you think about it, um, there are times, let's say, there are times that, let's say you're skiing or you're hiking or something you're doing some kind of activity and you know you haven't eaten you're fasting and and you're not hungry you know and so mm -hmm. um but clearly you're burning fat you're you're, you're clearly mm -hmm. burning some fat but mm -hmm. you're not hungry so there's no it's not a sign that you're burning fat gotcha. but but then but yeah, but this, why would the body warn you if you're burning fat? I mean, you have enough fat. Most people have enough fat to last for days and days, weeks and weeks, months right. and months, maybe. And right. so what's the big emergency that you're burning fat? Like, why would you get this horrendous signal? Like, like hunger is really gets your attention. I mean, yes. that's a, that's a big time. You know, it's just like, hey, I remember being in misery. I mean, splitting yeah. headache totally yeah. upset can't sleep because of the hunger pains but i kept saying they tell me it's burning fat this is gonna get me where i'm going yeah and it felt like i was going to my grave yeah. it was not pleasant yeah at all yeah mm -hmm. so let me yeah. let, let it me clarify it is mm -hmm. go ahead i, I, I want to clarify no, a couple ahead. things uh, so the tighter size, shiver size. I was telling my partner, Lisa Winston, about this and trying to describe to her, well, you stand there for a minute and you, you know, shiver your whole body. And she tried doing it and she was able to do her arms and pretty much her upper body, but her legs weren't really shivering. And she says, how do I get my legs to shiver at the same time my upper body is shivering? And I was like, you just do it. And then I remembered the Three Stooges and Curly used to stand there and he would do this whole and make these weird noises and his whole body was moving and i said go watch the three stooges and see curly and you'll see his whole body rapidly it's like he's running in place or having a seizure of course he's doing it comedic and off the charts how do you tell people how to do this in a way they can replicate it of course you have an app we're going to talk about that you got videos all over the place i've mentioned instagram that i follow you on allison um, how do you get this across so they know how to shiver size and tighter size? Yeah, that's a great question. So we can do a demo really quick. I will okay. walk you through the example that I usually give to people. Do you want to? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I might turn into Curly of the three students in front of you, but well, let's see what happens here. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So to do this exercise, we're going to start with the most simple one. It's called the running man. And so you kind of act like you're jogging in place. Okay, and then instead I'm, I'm of doing it in my your, chair. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So instead of lifting your whole foot off the floor, you're just going to lift your heels off the floor. Okay, okay. like this, right? Okay. So lift your heels off the floor. And then you're going to tense your muscles and mm -hmm. then shiver them back and forth as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you... If you don't tense your muscles, you can only go so fast, right? Uh, but if you tighten your muscles, then you can start going fast enough to the point where your fists start to blur. Right. And right, that's right. the kind of speed that you want to have with this exercise. <laughs> yeah, there you right, go. Right. Doing it. All right. Now, I'm actually just going to do a one-minute demo. Okay. So anyone who wants to try this, more than welcome to hop on with us. So I'm setting the timer for one minute. Mm -hmm. We're going to do this together, right? All right. On your mark, get set, go. All right, so you wanna focus on tightening all of your muscles mm. and shiver them back and forth really fast and just tiny little movements, okay? Right now I'm gonna focus on driving the balls of my feet into the floor mm -hmm. so I can shake my legs back and forth, back and forth really quickly, okay? Now we're gonna focus on our arms. So I want you to tighten your arms as hard as you can and then do tiny little shivering movements back and forth really fast, okay? Now we're gonna focus on our abdominals. Mm. So while we're doing this with our arms and our legs, think about tightening your abs so you can get some core strength and build those muscles as well. Okay, back to the feet. 
We're gonna focus on doing our legs as fast as we can. Remember, keep everything tight and shiver it back and forth, okay? Now we're in the home stretch. We've got 10 seconds left. So I want you to do everything you can. Go as hard as you can to the finish line, okay? Five seconds, come on. Let's go, come with me. Push it, push it. Woo-wee. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you for doing that. Catch your breath. Uh, a couple of things that I've noticed. First of all, I've been using the app. I bought it, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. And so I programmed what I wanted in terms of my results. And um, I had to set my schedule because I get up really early and um, and make the app fit what I needed to do. And what I've noticed for me is, first of all, what just what happened with you. You're out of breath. And you've been doing this. So you're in shape, you're fit, but you're still out of breath. And I find that when I first started doing it, I don't think I did it for the full minute. It was like, I'm out of breath. I'm stopping right now. <laughs> and the uh, the second thing I notice is that in the app and in the book, you don't really focus on what to eat. The The app doesn't tell you, unless I'm missing something, it doesn't tell you what to eat. That's not your focus. I heard you say, Allison, about intuitive eating, and I heard you say, Doc, that it's about uh, about pushing off the hunger by doing the one minute at a time exercise. And you use the word exercise, and I know it's called faster size, but exercise has such a bad connotation for most people, myself included. And the other thing I wanted to point out is when I do this, and even now with you, it was fun. The traditional exercise, whether it was weightlifting or aerobic, I never really thought that was fun. <laughs> was Me fun. neither, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was the price you paid or thought you had to pay to get somewhere. So when, when people do this, do you get that kind of feedback? Do you find out that they think it's fun, that they're out of breath? That And, and I'm heated up a little bit. I can feel it just from a little bit I did. Mm-hmm. Do you get all of that as feedback? Yeah, I mean, it's so fun. I love doing this in a big room full of people. <laughs> like we'll do faster size demonstrations at conferences and stuff. And um, my gosh, the energy in the room is palpable and everybody is laughing too. Like you can't yeah. you can't do this and then look over at somebody else doing this and not laugh because it just looks so hilarious. Right. Um, <laughs> so it is a lot of fun. But I mean, the cool thing about the exercise is it pushes you to your limit every single time, right? Because what we're doing with these exercises is overwhelming the mitochondria. And we like to say mito go slow, mitochondria go slow, because they're very efficient at producing energy, but they're very slow in making it. And so with this really quick, rapid movement, is always going to be able to overwhelm them. So you never peak, right? Like there were times when I was training for track, it's like, I hit about five minutes per mile when I was doing my race. And that's, that was kind of, kind of where I stuck. I like, I hit a plateau and it was really hard for me to go any faster, but like, Mm. you'll never plateau with faster size because you can always, you can always outstrip yourself. So anyway. And I can see that there's no age limit. I'm, I'm on age 70 here. And which is one reason I don't want to go lift lift weights or do anything anymore. So uh, and I welcome something like faster size and I welcome the app because the app interrupts my day. It'll, it'll ping me. And of course it'll do it on my Apple watch too. It'll ping me and say, it's time for shiver size. And even though I'm in the middle of something, it's like, okay, stand up and do it. I wanted to mention though, that one time I was pinged and I was behind the wheel of the car and it said time to shiver size. And I vaguely remember, I don't know if it was in the book. I don't know if it was a video of yours, Allison, but you can do it behind the wheel of the car. And so I was behind the wheel of the car looking to everybody else like I was having some sort of epileptic fit. But but there was a smile on my face and I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. And also, Allison, you just gave me the idea. One of my next live presentations, I'm going to do faster size with everybody as a way to wake them all up. Because the other thing I notice is that the brain becomes alive. In other words, there's more of an alertness there. Mm-hmm. So the uh, where I want to go with this here is we got to remember there's people watching or listening to this show all over the world. And so what I like to do is imagine that there is a woman who is sitting on her sofa 
watching this on YouTube and she's got a bag of Doritos in her hand and she's got her one kid or two kids beside her and she's overweight, but she's now getting intrigued. Wait a minute. I can lose weight in a minute at a time, five minutes top for the day. And if I did more 10 minutes, I can actually go maybe into a bodybuilding contest. Where would you advise her to start? Yeah. So um, that's a great question. And I, I'll just say like, this is really near and dear to my heart, especially mm -hmm. the mom example that you gave. Um, because like coming out of, of labor and delivery and, you know, scars and, and postpartum depression, like, all of those things were really hard for me mm -hmm. to be able to deal with, you know, like, I'm sorry, I always get emotional talking about this because it's such a hard thing to deal with. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like a lot of the time in fitness culture, we talk about like, just do it. Hopefully I don't get sued by Nike. <laughs> but we talk <laughs> about like, just do it. And it's like, what if I can't just do it? Like, what if my body is never yes. going to be the same? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know? No, that, that's beautiful. I'm glad you're saying it. There is a whole school out there that is very intense when it comes to exercise. I mean, they're almost ruthless in saying what they want you to do. And they do repeat, just do it, just get it done, just suck it up, all of that. And there are people I mean, I went through a divorce, went through the pandemic, went through a whole bunch of stuff. And it's like, I don't have the motivation. I don't have the will to do that right now. So, okay, continue with that. So the people that might be watching this woman with Doritos and a baby and she's overweight. You can do this. <laughs> um, I, I would recommend, I mean, you know, you saw this demonstration, try the exercise out for yourself. See how it feels to do this for one minute. Do it with your kids. They love it. I have a four-year-old and a one-year-old and my word, they go crazy for this. They go I was bananas. going to ask. I wanted to ask if your kids were doing this. I have videos actually uh, on my Instagram. You should go check it out later. But my son, he's like, hey, mom, watch this. And he started doing faster size. And I was like, yes, go Titus. Good job. Um, so so try it out. And if you like it, like by all means, try out the faster size app. And that might yeah. be a good time to show people mm -hmm. that QR code. So if we can pull that mm -hmm. up, that'd be awesome. Um, mm -hmm. obviously we love the work that you're doing. So this QR code is going to provide a 40% discount to anybody who wants to try it along with a one month free trial. That's so awesome. we would love for everybody to be able to use this, um, to be able to see some positive change. Um, and we're just, we're really excited about helping people as, as of today, we've actually been downloaded in 33 country codes, oh, which nice. is really cool. Um, so we're starting to see some strong, like international interest. Um, and so we're just, we really want to bring this message of hope and like faith and excitement to the world because we feel like fitness, the, the world of fitness really needs something like this. Uh, and I would agree. I have a collection of fitness books and I actually had pulled out a couple just to show you how zany things have been over the years, how to exercise without moving a muscle. That came out a long time ago. And Bob Hockman, who was the great York Barbell Club, exercise without, I don't think, know if you can see it, without movement. Exercise without movement. And I mean, we can go with all kinds of examples that could come up here. But with the faster size, what I'm seeing is it's fun. It does have that feeling of rejuvenating you in the moment. There is an excitement to it. The app I've enjoyed doing because there's a lot of different forms of exercise. So it's not just staying and shiver, staying and tighten. You have different things. Mm -hmm. uh, but Dr. Wilson, I wanted to ask you, how are your peers looking at this? Uh, that's a good question. I've presented it at, at a couple of medical conferences and we've um, had them do it as a group. And, and they, you know, w we get the same response as far as excitement and enthusiasm. Uh, right. two, two, two female doctors said to each other, it's just like, okay, we're going to do this. You know, we're going to do this every day. We'll call each other and, you know, we'll, we'll do this together. And we've, I've spoken about it in Brazil and um, the people, a couple of doctors there were so excited about it. They volunteered to, to translate faster size, the book and the app into Portuguese. Oh, we've nice. had, uh, so yeah, there's, you know, I'm sure. I mean, the, of course, the vast majority of um, mainstream medical doctors have never heard of it. 
they don't know anything about right. it. But um, right. but but in the um, but yeah, it doesn't. It, it definitely gets gets the doctor's attention when they actually do the exercise because they get so winded so quick and they know for a fact that this is this is not a joke this is like real big time mm-hmm. and while we're on that subject I just want to point out that if you think about it how fast you're breathing is really a direct measure of how many calories you're burning the reason we get so winded is because we're using energy faster than our mitochondria can provide it therefore we have to use glycolysis we have to go into backup mode and so that uses a lot of calories and that generates and, and the, the muscle generates acid and we have to breathe to get rid of the acid. And so anyway, that breathing, that uh-huh. puff and puff and I can't go any further, that's uh-huh. your proof that you have completely overwhelmed your mitochondria and your proof that you've gotten those four four hormones because your body says, oh, my gosh, you know, mm. they're using big time energy. And they've completely overwhelmed our energy supply. We need to mm. mobilize more energy. Mm. We need to mobilize, and that and that's what draws everything out of storage, out of your fat, your glycogen, and so on. So that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, you know, the show is called Zero Limits Living, and what I like to explore the whole show is kind of an exploration of do we have any limits? And so, if I apply that question to health and fitness. Are there any limits to somebody who might be watching or listening to this in terms of losing weight, building muscle, and feeling great? Is there some sort of limitation? Is there some sort of this isn't going to work in this situation kind of scenario? I'm not sure how to phrase the question. Maybe you're catching my drift and understand. I I, I got you. uh, Okay. And I would say, I would say, if if uh, this has less limitations of any other approach, because it is something that can be done by people with physical limitations, mm-hmm. it can be done. I mean, some some behavioral spectrum uh, youth they love it, and mm-hmm. um, the autistic children love it. Um, uh, anyway, so and and any even somebody that's um, very obese that couldn't do any other kind of exercise can lie on their bed and shake. I so wanted to can... ask, I was going to ask about that because there's the movie out there called the whale, which I think is yeah. based on a true story with, is it Brandon Fraser, the actor yeah. playing a 600 and some pound man. If yeah. there were a 600 and some pound man or woman watching, would you say, go get the app and read the power of faster size. And, and this can help you too. Absolutely. And, and on top mm. of that, on top of that, I would say that I, it, it, there's almost no way it can't work. It almost mm. has to work. And I'm saying that because it's using what, what the body does naturally. Like every morning <clears throat> when you wake up in the morning, you tighten your muscles really hard because mm-hmm. you've been fasting all night and you don't mm-hmm. have you don't have energy in your system. But just mm-hmm. just a few seconds of tightening your muscles will give you enough mobilization to to get your day started. Mm. And so it's just like, oh, no wonder we tighten our muscles. And it's also tightening your muscles like that is fantastic. It's a fantastic way to build muscle. So mm-hmm. like, you know, lions in the zoo, cats mm-hmm. in the house, right. every animal, every animal wakes up and stretches really hard. Mm-hmm. And there's a reason for that, you know, and that's the way the body works. And so, so yeah, if you push off your appetite with, with mobilized energy, you know, it's like this. A lot of people say, oh, well, I ought to go on a, I ought to go on a, a desert island. And I know I could lose weight if I was on a desert island and I right. didn't have any food, you know. And so, you know, we know intuitively that, of course, you can lose weight. But the question mm-hmm. is, how are you going to do that? Mm-hmm. You're going to do it comfortably. By using faster size to push off your appetite, because then you you can you can be fasting and be completely comfortable. I, I love this. I'm going to push just a little bit here it's for clarification. Uh, both of you talk about pushing off the hunger, and your book talks about that, and it's in the app as well. Um, I don't know how to say this. What's stopping somebody from pushing off their hunger but ending up at the buffet? 
You know, they're, they're going to say, okay, I'm going to sit in my car like I did, and I'm going to do shiver size, but I'm sitting in the parking lot of Dunkin' Donuts. And now I'm going to go into Dunkin' Donuts. What you have no concern that I can see about what people end up eating. The idea is do faster size, push off the hunger, but then what? You're going to eat sooner or later. Yeah. Do, is the overeating still going to be there, or does that get corrected? somehow as a result of doing the one minute burst yeah so just speaking like in practical terms so with these exercises <clears throat> we do recommend that you push your hunger off with exercise and then when your hunger comes back eat until you're not hungry anymore mm -hmm. <laughs> and i know mm -hmm. that that kind of i mean it sounds stupidly simple it's like oh great yeah okay <laughs> but like if you actually slow yourself down and you pay attention to how much you're eating and how quickly your hunger is satisfied. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time we like, we will fill our plates with this much, but we actually only need to eat this much. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what we encourage people is let your hunger dictate how much you eat and, and be sure to respect your body in that way. And so um, I would say like the hardest part of faster size is waiting until your hunger comes back. Like there would be times uh -huh. where like I would, I would do faster size and I would push my hunger off and I'd be in the middle of making dinner. And I was like, I'll probably be hungry by the time this is done in like an hour. Well, no, dinner's finished. I'm still not hungry. Okay. Then my kids eat. I'm still not hungry. And then like I go to bed and I'm still not hungry. And it's like, okay, well, I guess I'm just not going to eat dinner tonight. <laughs> um, and that can happen all the time. And so mm. I feel like what people need to realize is your body, if, if you have excess weight, you know, if you have like 40 pounds that you want to lose, that's 40 pounds of food that you ate in advance that you can now use as fuel, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about starving yourself. I mean, your body... <laughs> It That's can, good. it can feed off of that pre digested stored food for a long time. Yeah. Um, so I think that's what I would say. And then there are just a couple of high level diet things that we do recommend. So the first is push your hunger off with exercise. When you eat, only eat until your hunger goes away, no more, no less. And then we do recommend drinking a lot of water. Like uh. I drink about a gallon of water a day, but you know, even a three quarters gallon is good. And then the last one is like it uh, try to avoid refined starches and sugars. So mm -hmm. try to eat more whole foods. And we say avoid because it's not that you can never have it, but you would want your diet to be filled more with like potatoes instead of pasta or fruit mm -hmm. instead of candy. Mm -hmm. um, and, and those are easy substitutions to make, right? Because you don't have to all of a sudden it's like, oh, I can never go down the candy aisle again. It's like, okay, I'll have an apple. And then I might have a piece of chocolate. I don't have to have the whole bag. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how we approach it. I love it. I love it. So we're getting down to the wire here. We're going to run out of time. And of course, I want everybody to go get your app and use the coupon you're giving people and go get the book. It's at Amazon, The Power of Faster Size. Uh, but I want to ask a couple other questions of both of you. And uh, Dr. Wilson, you knew I was going to interview you. Were you hoping I would ask a particular question because it would give you the opportunity to tell a particular story or share something you really think is important? Because here's your opportunity. Oh, thank you. Um, I would just, I would just say that this is, this is, um, the body is like the perfect assistant. It's like the, it's your perfect assistant. It will do what you want it to do. And it will tell you when to stop eating. It'll tell you when you're burning muscle. It'll tell you, you know, it'll automatically, it'll automatically build muscle for you. And you can do it with a little bit of, of encouragement. I mean, you already have, I mean, the body is amazing all by itself. You know, if you don't <clears throat> fight the body, if you don't, you know, if you just work with the body as it's intended to work, you know, it'll take care of you and it'll it'll be happy, it'll be healthy, and it'll be strong. Now, like, I mean, if we're dead set on being unhealthy, if we're dead set on never getting winded, if we're dead set on never exercising, or mm. if we're dead set on not getting enough sleep, if we're dead set on being stressed out all the time, if we're dead set on overeating, I mean, you actually 
the, the research shows that it actually takes a little bit of work to, to get overweight. Like the body wow. doesn't, the body doesn't naturally get overweight. Like you actually have to overdo it. You actually have to push your body because it doesn't, it doesn't really want to be, it's inflammatory. Like if you have mm. too much fat, it causes inflammation and the body doesn't really want that. But mm. you know, if you if you just insist on eating twice as much as you need to satisfy your appetite, then so be it. You know, the body will say fine. Because basically you're sending the signal, oh, we're going into storage mode. A famine is coming up and we need to store as much fat as possible to to be able to starve for three months. And it's just like, mm. okay, we'll do that. So mm. Beautiful. And Allison, I want to ask you the opposite of that question. And that is, knowing I was going to interview you, what were you afraid I was going to ask? Well, that's a great question. Um, that's funny, because I tend to live fearless. Maybe that's naivety on my part. <laughs> but um, what would I, I guess maybe I would be afraid that you would ask me if uh, if I think that faster size is too good to be true. Um, I, I know that, I guess, yeah, that's, that's something that I have heard. Um, and it goes back to that culture around, you know, no pain, no gain. Like, yeah. I feel like for some reason over decades, this concept of fitness is that if it's not hard, it's not worthwhile. And like, I bought into that really hard, like, you know, no pain, no gain. I am going to push my body to its limits. I am going to run myself into the ground. I am going to do whatever it takes to win. Like that was, that was the focus. And, you know, that's fine if you're like trying to become a professional athlete or get a scholarship or whatever. But I feel like now that I'm outside of that range, I recognize that like my life is a marathon. Like, you know, mm. I want to live till I'm in my nineties. And that means that I've got decades ahead of me to try to maintain my health. And it's like, I'm going to need something that's a lot more sustainable. <laughs> so yeah, right. I think I'm, I'm very interested in kind of changing the culture of fitness to being like, this is about your health and this is about your wellness. And this is something that you can sustain forever. And it's not going to make your life miserable. Like, I really want people to learn to believe that, learn to believe that that is possible mm -hmm. and that that is that is included in the world of fitness. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't thank you both enough. Thank you for making time to be here. You're both fascinating. I love the book, Good Doctor There, The Power of Faster Size. And Allison, I'm in love with your, your videos. You're always posting something that makes me smile and want to get up and shiver. A little bit. Thank you for that. Thank you both. Uh, and we want people to go get the book. It's on a uh, Amazon, The Power of Faster Size, and the app. Chris and the engineering will put up the app and everything. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Dr. Joe Vitale. You've been watching Zero Limits Living. The show's now on 1,000 platforms across the planet, including Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, YouTube, and more. Go to ZeroLimitsLivingTV.com. You can sign up to be notified when a new uh, episode is posted. All the episodes are there, ZeroLimitsLivingTV.com. Check out Miracles Coaching. It's a system that works. It was trademarked 20 years ago, but find out if it's right for you. Go to MiraclesCoaching.com. Get my new book, Unexpected Kindness. Go to UnexpectedKindnessBook.com or just go to Amazon, Unexpected Kindness. I want to thank Lux Media Studios, Candace Barr for making this happen, Chris and Nick in the engineering, and all of you for watching this. I love you all. Expect miracles. Glutathione is a big word. It's the body's own master antioxidant. It's a scavenger for free radical, bacteria, and viruses. There are no products in the market with the ingredient NASA. NASA increases the production of glutathione that's in our body already to strengthen and enhance our immune system, elevate sense of well-being, support muscle strength and endurance, cognitive function, and liver support. It helps with increased energy and blood sugar regulation. Get your bottle of GSH Plus from www.salvationnutra.com.